नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू सनसेट टेलीविजन आई एम विशाल दहिया एंड यू वाचिंग आर शो हाउस हाउस वेयर वी ब्रिंग यू डिटेल्स ऑफ़ द डेवलपमेंट्स इन बोथ ऑफ़ पार्लियामेंट लेट्स बिगिन विद द हेडलाइंस फर्स्ट लोकसभा पास इज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन शेड्यूल ट्राइब्स ऑर्डर अमेंडमेंट बिल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बिल इंक्लूड डालोंग कम्युनिटी एज अ सब ट्राइब ऑफ द कुकी इन द लिस्ट ऑफ शेड्यूल ट्राइब्स ऑफ त्रिपुरा The Constitution Scheduled Caste and Scheduled Tribes Orders, Second Amendment Bill 2022, also introduced. The Criminal Procedure Identification Bill tabled in Lok Sabha amid protest by the opposition. Bill seeks to allow biometrics and other measurements of prisoners to be taken. Opposition says bill beyond the legislative competence of the House. Rajya Sabha takes up discussion on Appropriation Bill 2022 and Finance Bill 2022. Members raise concern on cryptocurrencies, GST, and PSUs. And opposition members demand a discussion on rising fuel prices in both houses. Rajya Sabha adjourned during zero hour amid protests. Chairman disallows discussion under Rule 267. and let's now look at all these news in detail lok sabha passed the constitution scheduled tribes order amendment bill 2022 today the bill seeks to amend the constitution scheduled tribes order 1950 for inclusion of the dalong community as a sub tribe of the kuki in the list of scheduled tribes of tripura replying to the debate tribal affairs minister arjun munda asserted that the government's program for tribal welfare are outcome driven and constant efforts are being made to ensure development reaches all he added that the union government is working towards betterment of living conditions of the tribal community and good results will be visible on the health education and employment fronts several mps also participated in the debate let's listen in bharat sarkar janjatiya vikas ke liye pratibadh hai और माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने लगातार इस बात पर बल दिया है कि ट्राइबल एंड ट्राइबल एरिया का डेवलपमेंट किए बगैर हम देश को समुचित रूप से विकास के लिए जो सपना हम देख रहे हैं वो पूरा नहीं हो सकेगा और इसलिए हमें बहुत ज़्यादा जोर देना है ध्यान देना है और विभिन्न जो पैरामीटर है मानव विकास सूचकांक का उसको पूरा करना है और इसी दृष्टि से आप यदि देखें तो लगातार 2014 के बाद से फंड के दृष्टि से निर्णयों के दृष्टि से कार्यक्रमों के दृष्टि से और कार्यान्वयन के दृष्टि से लगातार राज्यों के साथ विभिन्न स्तरों पर कैसे कार्यक्रमों को सफल किया जाए एक तरफ इसकी कोशिश हो रही है Karen Bill has not estimated expenditure for the welfare of the proposed inclusion of tribe or accounted for the budget outlay. Naam se kuki ka naam tribe diya gaya tha, lekin wo Darlong tribes hai. Usko aas Modi ji ke netrid mein aur Arjun Munda ji ke netrid mein jo recognize diya ja raha hai, me us Darlong community ko aas Tripura ka total population se. 2.15 परसेंट ही पॉपुलेशन दारलोंग पॉपुलेशन रह गया है त्रिपुरा में आज त्रिपुरा का हो गया कल यूपी का हो रहा है परसों का ही तमिलनाडु का होगा फिर महाराष्ट्र का होगा ऐसी चीज़ें लाने से अच्छा होगा कि एक साथ मिलकर कहाँ कहाँ इशू पॉलिटिकली वीक की पेसेंट बिकॉज दिस इज फॉर आवर फ्यूचर ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन क्योंकि जिनको मिलना चाहिए जो वो देने के लिए आप कृपया इसका कष्ट उठाएं ये मेरी पहली इंट्रोडक्ट्री रिक्वेस्ट आपसे है क्या ये खुद में एक लक्ष्य है खुद में ये एक आ, एक एंड है इज इट एंड इन सेल्फ कि आपने सिंपली किसी को नॉमिनेट किया किसी को इंक्लूड किया इज दैट एंड इन सेल्फ होता क्या है हो क्या रहा है हो ये रहा है कि जैसे जो ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स है उन्होंने पूरा वजहत के साथ कहा कि ये कि हम कुछ जो करना चाहिए उनकी बेहतरी के लिए बेहबूदी के लिए वो नहीं कर रहे द प्रिमेटिव सोरा लैंग्वेज हैविंग बीन गिवन by our ancestors are now supported with a unique script sora sampag invented during the year 1936 by late sora pandit mangai gomang is a long pending demand to be included in the language in the eighth schedule of indian constitution or 19 community mein kuki community bhi ek hai lekin usme abhi jo bill laya gaya darlong 
जो ट्राइब है ये दालोंग जो समुदाय ये खुद को कुकी बोलने में ये राजी नहीं है to take into uh, account these two very important issues of Sikkim, where Limbu and Tamung, two communities, are yet to get their share of uh, seat reservation in Sikkim Legislative Assembly, and the remaining communities, the 12 communities, which have the tradition and culture as other tribal groups in Sikkim, however, they are yet to be recognized as uh, scheduled tribes. Those who are people who are और हमारा जो स्पेशली असम का जो ये सहन कसारी मदाही कसारी और थेंगल को से उसका जल्दी जल्द इसमें लाना चाहिए और इंक्लूड करना चाहिए to administer their central sector and centrally sponsored schemes beside two official programs special central assistance to tribal sub scheme and the grants in aid under article 275 1 of the constitution however the allocation was reduced to rupees 5472.50 crores in 2021 union minister arjun munda also introduced the constitution scheduled caste and scheduled tribes orders second amendment bill 2022 the bill aims to amend the constitution scheduled caste order 1950 and the constitution scheduled tribes uttar pradesh order 1967 uttar pradesh अनुसूचित जातियां आदेश 1950 और संविधान अनुसूचित जनजातियां उत्तर प्रदेश आदेश 1967 का और संशोधन करने वाले विधेयक को पूरा स्थापित करने की अनुमति दी जाए विधेयक को पूरा स्थापित करने की अनुमति प्रदान की जाए जो सदस्य इसके पक्ष में हां कहे जो सदस्य के विरोध में ना कहे मेरे विचार में निर्णय हां वालों के पक्ष में the criminal procedure identification bill was introduced in the Lok Sabha amid protests by the opposition. The bill was introduced by Union Minister of State for Home, Ajay Mishra Teni, after division of votes with 120 members voting in favour of the introduction of the draft legislation, while 58 members voted against it. The bill seeks to authorise taking measurements of convicts and other persons for the purposes of identification and investigation in criminal matters and to preserve records and related matters as well. Opposition members contended that the bill was beyond the legislative competence of the parliament as it violated fundamental rights of citizens. I rise to oppose the bill as it is in derogation of both Article 20, sub Article 3 and Article 21 of the Constitution of India and therefore beyond the legislative competence of this house. Mr. Speaker, sir, Article 20, sub Article 3 explicitly states no person accused of any offence shall be compelled to be a witness against himself. Which allows for narcoanalysis, which allows for taking biological specimen, taking the photograph of the iris. This violates basic human rights and is against the principle of the Constitution. Sir, you have said now that you have to take the time of the bill. But a wrong bill आपको सामने लाया जाए इंट्रोडक्शन के नाम में ये सरासर हाउस का खिलाफ होगा अंडर अंडर रुपीस पीनल फाइन इज इंपोज ही से कन्विक्ट फ्रॉम हिम ही डीएनए टेक बायोलॉजिकल स्पेसिमेन कैन बी टेकन ऑल दिस स्पेसिमेन बायोलॉजिकल स्पेसिमेन कैन बी टेकन मिस देन व्हाट इज द फंडामेंटल राइट्स so it is violation of part three of the constitution number one and it okay. is against sir 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 it is against the U, un human declaration human rights declaration that is also very specific human rights violation so since it is human rights violation and fundamental right violation there is no legislative competence of this house to pass such a relation the opposition demanded a rollback in the hike in prices of fuel and cooking gas in Lok Sabha today. Raising the issue during the zero hour, Congress leader in Lok Sabha, Adi Ranjan Chaudhary, said the common people are in distress with their pockets being looted due to the rising prices. Meanwhile, BJP MP Shukanta Majumdar called for imposition of Section 355 in West Bengal after members of the ruling Trinmul Congress and the opposition party scuffled outside the house, inside the house rather, over the violence in Birbhum's Bhakti village. Let's listen in. Sir, day in Sir, Hindustan, we will be going to work in Bharat Abhijan. The reason is that we will be able to use petrol, diesel, CNG, PNG, 
गैस एक के बाद एक रोजाना ये दाम का बे, बेतहासा इजाफा हो रहे हैं खुले आम चर्चा करने के लिए हम भी तैयार हैं क्योंकि ये मुद्दा आम जनता की है ये मुद्दा रोजाना आम लोगों को झेलना पड़ता है the common man salary class are very much affected because of the price rise that is why at the start of the problem itself my leader dr m k stalin the chief minister of tamil nadu reduced 3 rupees per liter 3 rupees per liter with the in the price of uh, petroleum but how come sir every day for the past one week more than 4 rupees has been increased प्राइस हाइक इशू ऑफ डीजल पेट्रोल एंड गैस हैव मेड कंसर्न द होल ऑफ द हाउस आई थिंक एवरीबॉडी इज कंसर्न अबाउट इट सर आई अप्रीहेंड दैट द प्राइस ऑफ पेट्रोल डीजल एंड डोमेस्टिक गैस इट्स रेंज कैन गो अप टू द नंबर वन पोजीशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आल्सो पश्चिम बंगाल पे आज आज हमारा शुभेंदु अधिकारी मनोज टिग्गा पर आक्रमण हुआ है विधानसभा का अंदर जो पूरा भारत में नजर नहीं है सर हम लोग 355 चाहिए क्योंकि पश्चिम बंगाल में पूरा कोई शासन तंत्र नहीं है कोई सरकार नहीं है सर विधानसभा का अध्यक्ष अध्यक्ष ने बोला है उसको मारो उसको मारो Question R was taken up in the Lok Sabha today. DMK MP T R V S Ramesh raised a question on the recru recruitments from the skill development centres in Tamil Nadu. In his reply, Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar informed the House that over one lakh twenty-five thousand students have been placed under PM K V Y. In another question on the employment ratio in West Bengal, Minister Bhupendra Yadav informed the House that employment rate in the country in sectors such as manufacturing, IT, and education as well. honorable minister can give you a rough break up of the type of companies with which the candidates in tamil nadu have been placed i would like to know what type of companies and recruiting the candidates who have been skilled in tamil nadu thank you sir under the short term training program that is being run by the P under the pmkby a large number of students have been placed and the number has been given as 68517 in maharashtra and uh, 1,25,532 in tamil nadu sir the ministry does not keep information about where the candidate is placed because that placement is a very fluid process and therefore what we track is the number of candidates placed after the short term training program sir the above i would like to know from the honorable minister that whether in o whether west bengal is also one of the states with higher unemployment rate if so the reason therefore and the steps taken to reduce the unemployment rate in west bengal manne adhyaksh mahoday desh mein jo rozgar ki sthiti hai usko lekar ke jo survey hai wo plfs ka survey kiya jata hai लगातार जो पीएलएफएस का सर्वे वो इस बात को दर्शा रहा है कि देश में बेरोजगारी की जो दर है वो कम हो रही है लोगों को रोजगार ज़्यादा मिल रहा है ये सप्लाई साइड का है दूसरा एक और जो डिमांड साइड का जो सर्वे है वो सर्वे भारत सरकार के लेबर ब्यूरो के द्वारा किया प्रारंभ किया गया है लेबर ब्यूरो के द्वारा द्वारा जो सर्वे प्रारंभ किया गया है उस सर्वे के अंतर्गत एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर के अलावा जो नौ प्रमुख क्षेत्र हैं जिसमें मैनुफैक्चरिंग का क्षेत्र है जिसमें आईटी का क्षेत्र है जिसमें एजुकेशन का क्षेत्र है जिसमें हॉस्पिटलिटी का क्षेत्र है और जिसमें मैन्युफैक्चरिंग का क्षेत्र है इन सब क्षेत्रों में 2013 हज़ार का जो व्यापक सर्वेक्षण हुआ था उसके मुकाबले रोजगार के काफ़ी वृद्धि की दर देखी गई है और उसके साथ ही साथ जो लेबर ब्यूरो का जो सर्वे है उस सर्वे का एक तिमाही रिपोर्ट आ गई है दूसरी तिमाही रिपोर्ट भी अभी प्रकाशित हुई है जो ये बता रहा है कि ओमिक्रोन होने के बावजूद भी देश में रोजगार में वृद्धि हुई है In time now for some news from the upper house the Rajya Sabha took up the discussion on the appropriation bill 2022 and the finance bill 2022 on Monday the bills were moved by finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman initiating the discussion on the two bills Shakti Singh Gohil of Congress alleged that the tax structure in the finance bill will only widen the gap between the haves and the have nots BJP member Sushil Kumar Modi asked the government to increase the tax on cryptocurrencies we Vijay Sai Reddy of YSR Congress Question: The government's move related to disinvestment 
of PSUs. Amar Patnaik of BJD stressed on the need to have greater investment in education. Let's listen to all these members. Tax includes any surcharge, any says. एक एक डेफिनेशन बदलने से एक बहुत बड़ा असर उन केसेस पे भी होना है जिनके अपील्स आज पेंडिंग है और आपने जो फाइनेंस बिल में जो आप अमेंडमेंट लेके आए हो दिस अमेंडमेंट हैज ए रिट्रोस्पेक्टिव एप्लीकेबिलिटी फ्रॉम असेसमेंट ईयर 2005-2006 इससे क्या होगा एक तो मैं तो बेसिकली उसे अगेंस्ट हूं कि टैक्स स्ट्रक्चर कभी भी रिस्पेक्ट रिट्रोस्पेक्टिव इफेक्ट से नहीं लाना चाहिए आज मुझे कुछ है मैं कर रहा हूं मेरे सामने टैक्स क्या है मुझे पता है आप रिट्रोस्पेक्टिव इफेक्ट से कुछ चीज लेके आते हो उससे एक बहुत बड़ा नुकसान होता है ये क्रिप्टो यह गैम्बलिंग है जुआ है एक प्रकार की लॉटरी है एक प्रकार का हॉर्स रेसिंग है एक प्रकार की गैम्बलिंग है आप शेयर में लगाते पैसा तो मालूम है कि टाटा कंपनी उसके पीछे है लेकिन क्रिप्टो के पीछे कौन है श्रुति महोदय इसलिए जापान ने 55 परसेंट टैक्स लगाया है जर्मनी फ्रांस ऑस्ट्रिया ने अप टू 45 परसेंट यूएस ने 37 परसेंट इसे मैं निर्मला जी से आग्रह करूंगा कि फिर विचार कीजिए कि हम आगे आने वाले दिनों में क्रिप्टो पर थर्टी से भी ज्यादा हम टैक्स लगाने का विचार कर सकते हैं क्या श्रुति महोदय जो क्रिप्टो में कमाने वाले लोग उनको 30 परसेंट से कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ने वाला है क्योंकि क्रिप्टो का जो सी है कंपाउंडेड एवरेज ग्रोथ रेट है बिटकॉइन का 115 परसेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट एथेरियम का 30 परसेंट बिनान का बिनान से कॉइन का 151 परसेंट सो इन्वेस्टर्स आर अट्रैक्टिंग बाय एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी प्रॉफिट so a budget should address see the role of a government in a in the, in the a democratic government in the 20th century should be to protect its citizens to provide socio economic protection to its citizens what this budget has done they talk about rich people they talk about getting money back from the uh, borrowers but what is the progressive idea progressive concept this government has for the people who are suffering when the diesel price petrol price go up it is not a simple thing it is going to it will have a cascading effect on all materials i think is a is is something that the finance bill has missed is the introduction the reintroduction of wealth tax or a covid tax how do you generate resources for meeting social sector expenditure i spoke in my budget speech sir that the social sector expenditure as a percentage of gdp not in gross terms has actually remained almost at the same level unless we increase that obviously the inequality indexes will not improve now i have sir certain figures to say that if you impose this tax as per the oxfam india report 1% of wealth tax on the 98 billionaires would finance the ayushman bharat for more than 7 years 1% tax on wealth of 98 billionaires can take care of total expenditure for school education and literacy sir disinvestment process of 18 psus out of 36 psus is complete in some some respect or other the sale of psbs or gic IDBI is already privatized two of the PSB sir and one general insurance company also is being privatized sir today and tomorrow all india bond is called for only for against the privatization so we the state government government of andhra pradesh is supporting the bond and opposing the privatization of public sector undertaking sir the earlier telugu desam party government has alerted lands to 43 institutions of the union government and its psus in amravati capital region i appeal to the honorable prime minister and the finance minister and the concerned ministers to do the needful for quick launches of these institutions sir vijay steel plant with regard to the great concern of the people of andhra pradesh the disinvestment proposal and privatization with regard to the vijay steel plant 
uh, I request the Honorable Finance Minister to drop the such proposal and continue the adjectives. Purely going by GST numbers and being very happy that we have achieved 1,30,000 crores for at least five months in this current fiscal year. While it is a good sign, but also it does not reflect the true state of the economy, there are many sectors, and I'm sure the Finance Minister is aware of it, which have still a lot of stress and they need to be addressed and they need to be addressed timely, especially her latest uh, intervention in the budget about the hospitality, tourism and related sectors. The midday meal system, 1,500 crore rupees has been reduced in this year uh, present budget. So it will affect, it, it will, be, it will affect uh, the students, especially those who are from the marginalized section, sir. Currently in India, young children are facing a lot of crisis. They are facing different problems. We see child mortality, maternal mortality, standard growth, wasting and anemia. So the number of anemic children in, the, in India is the largest in the world. In 2016-17, Sadly, indirect tax as a proportion of GDP crossed direct tax as a proportion of GDP. And I had cautioned it even then, this is a bad trend, reverse this. Indirect taxes as a proportion of GDP should not cross direct taxes as a proportion of GDP. Actually, direct taxes must increase. Now, this year, 2021-22, according to a budget at glance, both have become equal, 5.4% and 5.4%. Next year, the finance minister expects that direct taxes will go up from 5.4 to 5.5, and indirect taxes as a proportion will come down from 5.4 to 5.2, which means we are reversing the bad trend that has been set in the last five or six years, which is good, and I hope the government achieves this. Zero hour was disrupted in the upper house on Monday. Chairman Venkaya and I do disallowed notices given by various members under Rule 267 to suspend the business of the day to debate fuel price hike and call for labor union strike. Chairman asserted that these issues can be discussed in detail when the house takes up appropriation and finance bills. As the members protested, Chairman adjourned the proceedings for an hour. Government has sanctioned 1.15 crore houses under the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Urban, which is going to end this month. Replying to supplementaries during the question hour in Rajya Sabha, Housing and Urban Affairs Minister Hardeep Singh Puri said the objective of the scheme and the dream of Prime Minister Narendra Modi enshrined in it will stand fulfilled within the next 18 months. Let's listen in. Today, under the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Urban, the government, central government has sanctioned under four separate verticals a total of 1 crore 15 lakh houses, out of which I think about 70 lakh houses have been grounded and close to 45 or 46 lakhs are, have been handed over to beneficiaries. That's all we have in this edition of House Highlights. We'll come back again tomorrow. Till then, keep watching Sunset Television. Thank you.